you want to see from tonight and did you get it? Yeah, a lot of the things that I saw the, in the first half, but especially obviously a few of the boys, they have only had three training sessions. So just to give them some minutes, some exposure, start to understand and, and start connecting with each other again. And we saw a lot of good things, obviously, with, with the amount of changes that we have to make. And, and that obviously the game declined, especially in quality and, and in control, but we knew that that was going to happen. How pleasing was it to see Mikhail Saka pick up where he left off and William Saliba return and look so strong? Yeah, especially the way we played the, the first half, I think, was uh, really good. I think we could have scored more goals even in the second half. We won it, we had two big, big chances to score and we didn't. And uh, this part of football and mistakes and as well are part of the sports. Kai Havertz's debut, you must be delighted to get him in. Where do you see him being most effective? What's his best position? And we will see. We have to see how he adapts, uh, where we see him, get to know each other, and, and then we have to build relationship. Football is about that, and uh, I think Ty will tell us where, uh, where he's his best. With Rice and Timber getting closer, how pleasing is it to be getting maybe some keen business done so early in pre-season? I don't know. At the moment, we are working with a group of players that is here. We have nothing to announce yet, and um, if there is anything done, uh, you will be first to know. Uh, and Xhaka obviously is, has departed since we last caught up with you. Uh, I guess, what was the thinking behind that, and, and how much of a, a loss will he be? It's not a thing. There are three parts to this. He had a very clear desire the, um, that it was the right time, and it was a, a big, big opportunity for him personally to, to move there. Um, we had that conversation and at the end we all agreed that uh, it was the right thing to move forward. And I should pick up just a couple of injuries tonight, Odegaard in the, in the warm-up, yeah. everything okay described as a slight Yeah, him and Leo struggle, we had uh, a few plays as well during the week, so we have to be cautious. It's pre-season, some, some of the boys they have only had two or three training sessions, so let's take it step by step. Mikel, thank you. Thank you. Mikel, just quickly. Um, you saw a lot of young, young players out there tonight. How pleasing is it for you to see so many youngsters involved? It's great, and that's the opportunity that we wanted to give to them. And, and we knew, obviously, with, with Amano's change and not playing in the right environment uh, with other players as well, it's more difficult. But I think they did really well. Just quickly, does the number of uh, players that have left the Premier League to go to Saudi Arabia this summer is quite extraordinary. Jordan Henderson is the latest. What do you make of all that? Have you got an opinion? It's their decision. They have to look after their lives, their profession. And, and if they have made that decision, it's because they think it's the best for them. Thanks guys, thank, thank you. you.